so excited because I have the new iPhone 14s right here and we're going to be testing them out today. We're going to be testing out the camera system. It has a new 48 megapixel sensor. We have the new action mode and of course the new 4K cinematic mode. There's so many more things that we're going to be testing, but come on, let's not waste any time. We're starting this out with some front-facing video. They've updated the front-facing camera now, so everything looks so much clearer and crisper. Look at all my friends. <laughs> they have three cameras. I have one. And the crazy part is those are also all 4K. Like, we're all shooting 4K. Pro Max does have an upgraded camera system and there is a noticeable size difference between the 12, 13 and the new 14 camera bumps. So the 14 is significantly larger than the 12, slightly larger than the 13, but you can definitely tell when you put them up close to each other. That is some improved camera quality for us. New iPhones means we must protect them at all costs. Now dbrand has been my number one go-to screen protector over the past couple of years ever since they started doing these tempered glass screen protectors. I sent them a message and I was like, you better be making iPhone 14 protective screen displays because I don't know how I'll live without it. I have tried so many other ones and I kid you not, it has been by far the best thing ever. So what's great is when you buy one of the screen protectors, it actually comes with two. Squeegee going in. And there it is. Look at that. It's so clean that I think that maybe I might need to do a little damage. A little damage, if you will. I'm trying to stab it and nothing is happening. Link in the description. I'm out. The main camera is 48 megapixels with a quad pixel sensor and the second gen sensor shift optical image stabilization. Now this is where the lens will actually shift to give you a much more stable image. It has two times better low light photos and a new 20 millimeter focal length. The ultra wide lens is an f2.2 with three times more improved low light and a sharper lens that will improve the overall quality of macro shots. Macro was first introduced in the iPhone 13 so I'm so glad to see them improving it in the 14. The telephoto is an f1.78 that allows for a new 2x mode in addition to the 3x. The front facing and the rear cameras will all shoot 4k video. You can shoot in 24, 30, and 60 frames a second. If you want to do slow-mo, that shoots in 1080p, 120, and 240 frames a second. Another fun thing is you can also record ProRes video that will also work on the front facing camera, which is pretty fun. I don't normally shoot a lot of ProRes on my phone, but the fact that you can do this is pretty incredible. Now ProRes is a much larger video file size, so if you are planning to shoot ProRes, make sure you do have one of the larger phones because you're definitely going to be eating up storage very, very quickly. Something that I learned recently from the younger generation, I am, unfortunately, I don't think I can consider myself the younger generation anymore, that you guys call it 0.5. Like, we always call it the wide angle camera, but you guys call it 0.5 deliberately. You're like, hey, can you 0.5 me? Didn't even know it was a thing. I freaking love it. Okay, so we're in 0.5 right now. Let's go to one. And this is kind of what it would look like if you were vlogging holding the phone out. Let's go to two. Now two is the new focal length that they have, which is kind of cool to have that kind of in between. And now we're gonna go to full telephoto three. It's probably so close to my face, isn't it? Yeah. Cheese. Oh, yeah, there we go. Basically don't ever vlog in, in three. You don't wanna do that. So I wanna test out what it looks like when you're shooting in ProRes or not. Now I like ProRes when there's a lot of colors and when I know that I'm gonna have time to go in and actually edit it because with ProRes, you'll have so much more data that you'll actually be able to pull out colors and make it look just how you like it. So these are both the iPhone 14 Pro Maxes. This is just the smaller version. And the iPhone 14 Pro Max in purple is shooting in ProRes and the iPhone 14 in space black is shooting not in ProRes. Camera systems are identical, so these should look exactly the same, except one is ProRes and one is not. Get some sky, some greenery. Look at that, look at those shrubs. Get a little blue. I hate not having cases on these, but I didn't want to have cases so you guys can actually see the beautiful colors. But normally in my everyday life, I am a case person, 100%.
The macro mode is definitely way more crisp. Now I am taking some photos and video here and it's crazy because as soon as I took my ice cream outside, like I can actually see the sprinkles. They started to sweat. Like there's beads of sweat on the sprinkles because it's so hot out here. I cannot see that with my normal everyday basic eye. When we go in there with this macro, you can see the beads of water on these sprinkles. This is fantastic. Like I can get so close. It gets crazy how close I can get. Like I'm actually able to see the beads of sweat on these sprinkles. Like I'm so close to the sprinkles. Like I feel like I am. Oh no. I got ice cream on my phone. Should I lick my phone? Zero judgment. Maybe a little bit. I deserve it. <laughs> but this ice cream is so good. I'm gonna go get a napkin. That's disgusting. I'm disgusting. The COVID times. So now on the iPhone 14 Pro Max, you have a 2X telephoto option, which will bring you to a 0.5, 1, 2, and 3. Now on the iPhone 14, just regular, no Pro, you have the 0.5 and the 1X. So that is kind of the trade-off. If you are getting the 14, you're not going to be getting that telephoto zoom. And I'll tell you what, I love being able to have that telephoto option because it gives you a lot more flexibility in your photos and your video. Now to demonstrate action mode, I'm gonna reenact what just happened. We saw this little dog running around the street, didn't have a collar, and I freaked out. I was like, Jake, get out of the car, go chase him. I ditched my car, got out, and so we started chasing this dog all around the town. And then I tried to grab him, <laughs> he bit my hand. Thankfully he didn't break the skin or anything. And so we went in this back alley, we saw some crates. So we both grabbed crates and we're now running around trying to catch this dog. And this thing is so fast. One of his eyes was like so gray and, and I don't think that he could even see and I'm still so heartbroken about it. So for the rest of this video, we're gonna be trying to hunt Louie. I called him Louie because we kept saying, okay, we're just gonna do one more loop one more loop for Louis. So I'm hoping that we see him. It's like my heart is hurting so bad, like he's out there somewhere. <sighs> anyway, here's action mode. Get out, go get, go get him, go get him, go get him. Sorry, 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 sorry. Go, 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 go. I think he's over here, hurry up, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Just see, just see, rest it, rest it, rest it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I think he turned over here. Ready? Yep. Let's go. Ready? Yep. Okay. All right. Oh, geez, you're already going. testing out some of the portrait mode photos on the 12, 13, and 14 to see if there's any difference at all. So now we're gonna take raw photos on all three of the phones and see if we can see the difference because the new 14 is a new 48 megapixel raw photo. So it's definitely gonna be way crisper. So I'm looking at these photos back. Uh, I gotta go change my shirt because <laughs> I'm so sweaty. <laughs> now cinematic mode was one of the big new features last year. So now I'm gonna test it out because it is 4K on the new iPhone 14. And previously it was only 1080 and you could only record in 30 frames a second. But now you can record in 24 and in 4K. So let's see what the difference is. All right, so here it is, cinematic mode. So right now I'm in focus. We're filming on both of the phones and now we're gonna pop in and and get that stop sign in focus. So hello, hi, goodbye. There he is. Do we have the crate? Oh my God, I can't believe it. There he is. Have you seen this dog around? Please not bite me. Wait, oh gosh, no, please don't go into traffic. Please don't Back from Louis Expedition again. We still cannot find this dog. It's breaking my heart. If anybody lives in Pomona and you've seen this dog, please keep a lookout for him. I'm so personally invested now. I tried my best. We all did. 
It's nighttime. We're out here. We are the night. It is time to take some photos. Now I've got three phones here. I've got the 12, the 13, and the new 14 Pro Max. Now these are all of the Pro models. Now in comparison to the iPhone 13, the iPhone 14 Ultra Wide is three times brighter and the main camera is two times brighter. There's also some improvements in the telephoto as well. So now it is time to test them out. Here we go. The iPhone 14 has a new nine LED flash. Now this is gonna allow you to get a much brighter image, almost up to two times brighter, depending upon the lighting conditions. And it's called the adaptive true tone flash because it'll actually adapt depending upon the conditions surrounding your subject, but also depending upon the focal length that you're shooting the photo. Let's go test them out and take some flash photos. That's a big freaking roach. I'm gonna get him. Oh, I'm gonna puke. The thing that I definitely notice in looking at these photos is the skin tone. Like, they were not joking. Like, it's definitely a warmer tone. And then when you actually zoom in, there is definitely a noticeable difference, especially with the flash. So I'm gonna take a photo of just of the ground with the different focal lengths, just to see if we can see a difference in the flash brightness. Here's 0 0.5. Here's two. And here's three. So to do a lot of this low light image processing, Apple has this new thing called the Photonic Engine. Now this is using computational photography, machine learning, hardware and software. It's all working together to get you a much better low light image. And that's a wrap on our iPhone 14 camera test video. Of course, I'll be posting a ton more on my TikTok, on Twitter, on Instagram. I even freaking use Snapchat now. I know, I know. I have a bunch more iPhone and Apple videos that I've made over the past couple of weeks, so make sure you guys check those out here. I will put them on the end screen. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and also hit the bell so you'll be notified when I post new videos. And I would love to hear from you guys in the comments. Which photos look the best to you? Is there anything that we should have tested out that we didn't? Let me know and you may see your comments or your suggestions in a future video. I'm gonna go to bed now because I am physically exhausted. <laughs> it's Apple iPhone season and I'm sleepy. I'm out.